Hello, hello everybody. This is Rhea with Posh Plum Plans and today I am coming at you with something a little different. So I have a classic skinny notes here that I have been using as a happy Nietzsche, a bullet journal, you know, all the things, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I've been using this and today I want to take you through my March setup. So I'm going to flip through what I've been doing for February. This is just a vellum that I printed on my own with some artwork that I had. I just liked looking at that at the beginning of my planner. So I've got that and then I've got a year to glance and I jump right into February. I didn't start in January, but this is how far I've gotten in February and it's not perfect. I didn't fill in all the days. There's the monthly view. Didn't even mark that up properly. Um, and I liked what I had done. So I wanted to kind of continue with March. So I've got my bullet journal pages here. And just for the sake of the video, I went ahead and I penciled out the different layouts that I wanted to use. So I've got a dashboard, I've got the monthly view, I've got um, some other views in the end that I'll show you that are maybe a little bit different. This here is a little pouch that I got from Webster's Pages. Honestly, I don't know if it was Joanne's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. I'm so sorry, I don't know. But I keep my ink joys in here. And the first thing I do is pick out a color. I usually like gray. And I start using my ruler and kind of doing, you know, the bullet journal process and marking out your different layouts. So I've got this really big ruler here that I use from Office Depot. I also carry one with me in that Webster's Pages pouch. I think I got that one on Amazon just because I wanted a little one and I didn't know exactly where to go to find the perfect one that I wanted, so I'll link it below. But I'm just going to take you through pretty quick here all the different layouts that I chose. So this first one, I'm actually starting with the very last layout in the back of my planner and then I'm working my way forward for March. So this one I call my rewind. So it's a horizontal layout and it's kind of, well, it's kind of like journaling. So it gives me space to write down anything and everything that I do in a day. I read somewhere for maximum productivity to look back at what you're doing. And so that's what I do with my rewind. I write down everything that I do uh, that is you know, relevant and um, I use that to kind of plan my next week. So this one here is almost identical. It's got the same portions of the horizontal planner, but I've got it sectioned off vertically. This is my plan ahead section. So the first column I use as, you know, major events, things that I need to know that are happening in that day that are not usual, I should say. And then the middle column are things that always happen. Like I always write down what time I'm supposed to pick my girls up from car line and if we have gymnastics like reoccurring things and then that tiny skinny little column all the way to the right I use to write down our dinners and I write them in so it, it looks it looks different and it's eye-catching for me the next one that I'm gonna do here is I call it my quick glance so in my planner sometimes I do have repetitive things just because that's what works well for my brain to write things a few different times so this one here is a horizontal layout of the week. I section it off like you would the teacher planner or the color block planner. And I've got six different sections here. So I put that in and it just keeps me on track for the things that pretty much never change but that I don't keep in my head. <laughs> and that's what that section is for. Next is habits. So I think I've got maybe 10 habits here or 12 and they're just things that I want to get better at during the week. It's just a normal habit tracker. There are boxes to schedule or sorry, boxes to either color in or check off every day of the week. And then here the bottom half of the page is where I write my thankful things. That's what I like to call it. It's my gratitude, my appreciation section. Every day I write one or two sentences just to keep myself thankful. And uh, here I am writing in some of the other lines for the habit tracker and I thought, oh my gosh, if I can't write a straight line from one dot to the next, I have problems. <laughs> so I ditched the ruler for this section. 
and I don't go in and color I don't go in and mark every single line for every single day I just kind of leave the boxes how they are and then as I do them I'll go in and draw a box and color it in or X it off or whatever but here I'm just gonna write in all the different habits that I want to do this week and hopefully carry those habits into the next week and the idea is to not really have to track it anymore right so I've got my habits in here and I'll track them as long as I need to but hopefully when these become habits or second nature I won't have to do that anymore they'll just be in my head and they will be habits so there is that section my habits and my quick glance all together and now I'm gonna do my monthly payments uh, income finances I just have one page dedicated to it I do have an entire budgeting planner and I do use uh, something similar to the happy planner system with a little bit of bullet journaling on my own just because you know finances are not always cookie cutter so I do have my own kind of format that I like to use this page here in particular deals with my monthly payments and it deals with my monthly income and then at the bottom I section off a section for cash and a section for sinking funds just because I like to record how much is going where uh, I don't necessarily do I think it's called like the zero dollar method oh my gosh I'm butchering that but the method where you know exactly where every single dollar goes I'm not perfect with doing that method but I do like to assign a place for pretty much every dollar so that I know where it's going and I don't blow like $400 at Joann's and then have no idea where the money went. <laughs> I like to keep track of that kind of thing. So my monthly payments here is like a monthly bill section and I put them all in here. The first column is a little space to make a check mark when it's paid. The second column I write in the date. Third column is there to write what the payment is for, if it's Pandora, Netflix, mortgage, that kind of thing. And then I write in the amount that's due. And then for me personally, I like to write in how much I need to keep in the bank at any certain time to make sure that the rest of the monthly bills get paid. I hope that makes sense. If you guys want a budgeting video on how I do my budgets, just let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that. Okay, monthly goals. This is another horizontal section. I've got three monthly goals and the blank space is where I'll write steps to make those goals happen. And just kind of brainstorm a little bit in those two sections. And then next I am going to do the actual month of March. So this is pretty self-explanatory. It's just gonna be a monthly calendar. I do like doing them in the Happy Nietzsche because the format is a little different. Like the boxes are very skinny and narrow. So that kind of gives you room to do a couple of different things. You can either use them horizontally, which I think is interesting, or you can write a lot of little things and just kind of have like a long list, whatever works best for you. But I do find it very interesting to do these long, narrow boxes. I just think it's different than what you normally see in your everyday monthly spread. And uh, it also makes it fun to decorate. Like if you only have one or two things to write in there, you've got a lot of space underneath to put in little stickers, little icon stickers. If you can find little quote stickers that are that small, you can definitely put those in there. But I just like to have this monthly section so that I can, again, look at something at a glance. I'm really big with at a glance kind of planning um, because I feel like my time is so precious I want to look at my planner and know in an instant what I've got going on the last thing I'm gonna write out is my monthly dashboard so you kind of saw what I did for February it was super floral and super cute and this time I decided that I wanted to do an all yellow theme I don't know where that came from I love the color yellow it's I'm gonna say it's my second favorite color <laughs> behind purple but I wanted to do all yellow just because I thought it would be cute I don't know inspiration hit me and that's where I went so I have the month written up down here the name of the month then a monthly calendar and then I like to write a monthly focus and find a super cute sticker that goes with it and then the entire top of that page is decoration so here's where we are so far I'm gonna put in a couple dates or days of the week in the little sections that I forgot. 
and then we'll get started with decorating in just a couple seconds. So I do have to apologize for the amount of times that my head pops into this video, you guys. I am so sorry about that. I didn't have that problem like when I was doing videos last year. I don't know all of a sudden why my head is in all of the videos now, but I think it's because maybe I'm trying to zoom in too close and then when I lean forward at all, you get the top of my head. So sorry about that. I'm going to try to make sure that does not happen again especially in the times when it totally covers up what I'm writing. Like, girl, what are you doing? And of course you don't know that it's happening until you get into the editing room and by then it's too late. <laughs> so here is my at a glance section and I'm just writing in the different sections that I use. I use a bill section, a miscellaneous section, personal, family, gym, and school. And again, I just write some standard things that always happen there so that I can really quick at a glance take a look. So here's my plan ahead. The first column is things that I need to look out for, things that change, events that are happening. The middle column is for things that don't change like pickup times and gymnastics that happen every week. And then that last column is for dinner. And then my rewind, I just have to date it because it's kind of like a journaling section. I write down whatever notes, things I did that day, just so that I can kind of keep track okay stickers <laughs> it's the best part of the video <laughs> so like I said I wanted to go through and do an all yellow theme and I tried to make the video a little bit more concise by going through and tracking or uh, labeling with those little page flags the stickers that I wanted to use so this is from colorful boxes and I'll have everything linked below so that you know exactly which books the stickers are coming from and I'm using my singer craft tweezers sorry guys there's not only my head but my hat <laughs> and I'm using my singer craft tweezers just to help me get these stickers placed properly I got my main quote for the dashboard out of the empowering woman book so I'm just flipping through trying to find it because I think there were actually a few different quotes that I had tagged in this book but the one I decided to go with was the be the kind of woman that makes other women want to up their game totally a goal of mine just because I see other women killing it all the time and I want to be one of those women I found the cutest little bug let's go Volkswagen bug in the essential planning book so I popped that right in the corner and then in this seasonal book that I think I actually grabbed from Walmart <laughs> to be honest I'm gonna take this little Sun and that Sun was actually kind of difficult to peel off and I didn't want to rip any of the little Sun rays got that little guy just popped right up in this corner here and then taking my tiny little manicuring scissors which are actually my favorite scissors to use to kind of fussy cut around the stickers that way I love using those I'm back in the empowering woman book to grab that beautiful flower and really showcasing that at the top of my page here and then flipping through colorful boxes for this smile sticker because everybody needs to be reminded to smile. And seeing that sticker just does make me smile. I don't know, I think it's super cute. Also in the Colorful Boxes book that I have here, I love these little, they almost look like, you know, somebody came with a marker and drew. The little lines underneath the quote and the arrows, I thought really emphasized it. It really, to me, made it look like it went together. And I just liked the way that it came out. I was so excited about that with the little smiley face emoji and then cute little yellow push pin. Like I said, I just went through and found all the yellow I could. The emoji and the push pin both came out of the tiny book. Back in the seasonal book for this little heart, it was just hanging out all by itself being yellow. So of course I had to grab it and put it right above the little bug. So then I got through my spread and decided since it is March, I am going to add some touches of green. So back in the seasonal book, I grabbed that so very, very lucky quote and then took every single shamrock clover I could find and put it all over my little dashboard here. And I thought it came out so cute. I still like that it's, you know, kind of a lemon lime theme, the little yellow and green. I thought it went well together. It's still bright. It's still spring-like, very St. Patrick's-y without being too, too over the top, which is green in your face. I thought it came out really well and I was excited to call this my March dashboard. 
So at the bottom there, I put the sticker, make your own luck. And then I had to flip to a different book here. Switching to a stickers book, I just grabbed whatever shamrocks I could find in here. I know they're not the same and it kind of started to drive me a little bit crazy at first, but I thought, let go. It's super cute. There's all kinds of different shamrocks and I just made my peace with it. And honestly, I think it's really cute. I ended up loving the way that it came out. So then I decided I wanted to take some mild liners and highlight and add a little bit of yellow. Have you guys ever done anything and thought that it would be like this brilliant idea in your planner and you get like one pen stroke into it and think, oh my gosh, why did I do that? <laughs> That's exactly how I felt with that March and the yellow down there. And since I royally messed up the March on the front with that yellow mild liner, I thought, keep it going. Let's just mess up the rest of it. <laughs> It's honestly not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it didn't quite come out as cute as I thought it would. Okay, so I'm back in the colorful boxes and I grabbed more of these yellow flowers and my Singer tweezers here. And I'm just going to place these throughout the rest of the spread. I decided I was gonna use them up since this is going to be kind of a yellow theme for me. I was gonna grab the rest of the yellow and just put it in here kind of like as a sidebar because I don't really need to use the sidebar on this monthly spread. So why not just decorate it on up? So the best part of doing all of this decorating is playing around and like I said, using your creative muscle and getting comfortable with it. So putting stickers down and you know, peeling them back up or just kind of holding them over, even creating your own kind of look by cutting into a sticker and making it fit your spread exactly how it should. But of course, never wasting a sticker because you can always throw little extras up in corners like I just did. So I'm just gonna cut this sticker to fit exactly that little space that I need. And then I'll put the rest of the sticker down here where, uh, where the dates for April actually start. So I'm not gonna write those on my March spread. So I thought that came out super cute. Just a little pop of color, not anything too crazy because this is a bullet journal and it's not really meant too much for decorating. So I just wanted to throw in little pops of color wherever I could and it worked out so well. I think I'm gonna do that again with the rest of these colors. Like I said, there's tons of other ones. There's pink and purple and teal, they're so cute. So I'm gonna do this probably, I don't know, I don't wanna do it like two or three months in a row, but I really did like the way it ended up. And then I just took that sticker and cut it into a few pieces and made it spread throughout my week. And it kind of made it like a little bit of a theme, you know, like it's on several pages and that's just how it ended up. So let's do a final flip through. Here's my March, my monthly calendar with all the pretty yellow flowers, my monthly goals and finances, habit tracker, thankful things, and then my quick glance. And then in my plan ahead section, all sectioned off with the categories and then my rewind to take notes and then next week. So that's pretty much how it ended up, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate you being here. If you have any questions or want to know where a specific sticker came from and maybe you missed that, let me know. But I had a blast doing this and I love doing the bullet journal section. I got a lot of my inspiration from Plans by Rochelle and I will link her down below because she's incredible when it comes to bullet journaling. She does it in a classic size, I think. I love it and merging my style with the inspiration I got from her worked out really well for me. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.